respiration in organisms. All organisms are made of microscopic units called cells. A cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of an organism. Every cell of an organism performs certain functions such as nutrition, transport, excretion and reproduction. To perform these functions, the cell needs energy. All living organisms respire to get energy from food. When we breathe, we breathe in air which contains oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. The air we breathe in is transported to all the parts of our body and ultimately to each cell. In the cells, the oxygen helps in breaking down the food. The process of breakdown of food in the cell is called cellular respiration. Through a process called glycolysis, glucose is converted to pyruvic acid which breaks down into water and carbon dioxide with the help of oxygen. When breakdown of glucose happens with the help of oxygen, it is called aerobic respiration. Food can also be broken down in the absence of oxygen which is known as anaerobic respiration. This happens mostly in case of prokaryotes which are single-celled organisms living in environments devoid of oxygen. Our muscles can also respire anaerobically. During high exercise like cycling or weight lifting, the demand for energy is high, but the supply of oxygen is limited. That is when anaerobic respiration takes place in the body to satisfy the demand of energy. This results into the production of lactic acid from pyruvic acid. A high concentration of lactic acid might impair the muscles leading to cramps. In the process of breathing, we take the oxygen present in the air through our nostrils, which is called inhalation, giving out air rich in carbon dioxide, which is called exhalation. It is a continuous process that goes on throughout the life of an organism. The respiratory system moves the air through the nose, pharynx, larynx, trachea and bronchi to the alveoli where the gas exchange between oxygen and carbon dioxide occurs. Nares are the opening to the nose through which the air passes to the nasal cavity. The air then continues to move into the pharynx or throat the common passageway for food and air. The air then moves on to the larynx. The epiglottis, a tissue in front of the larynx, closes off the larynx when swallowed to prevent food from entering. The larynx or voice box contains the vocal folds. The trachea or windpipe connects the larynx to the bronchial tree. The cartilaginous rings of the trachea prevent it from collapsing. Lungs are spongy tissues with alveoli and blood capillaries. Breathing occurs because of the expansion and contraction of the lungs. The primary muscle of respiration is the diaphragm. The diaphragm is a thin dome-shaped layer of muscle and tendons that separates the abdominal cavity from the chest cavity. The diaphragm attaches 
along the lower rib cage high in front of the sternum and deeply in the back along with the spine it also attaches to itself by an essential tendon the diaphragm uses its central tendon and its attachments as a leverage to flatten during inhalation the expansion of the ribs comes from the resistance of the internal organs to downward movement as the internal organs are slow to move the ribs expand to make room for the lungs the bronchi carrying the air subdivide into smaller branches called bronchioles at the end of each bronchiole are the alveolar sacs which are surrounded by blood capillaries and contain millions of single layered alveoli cells where the gas exchange takes place oxygenated air passes through the nose and reaches the alveoli by the process of diffusion oxygen in the air moves the alveoli to the capillaries carbon dioxide moves from the capillaries to the alveoli and is exhaled bringing the process of respiration to an end unlike the other animals which have chest cavities like human beings insects like cockroaches have a different respiratory system a cockroach has small openings on its body called spiracles insects have a network of air tubes called trachea for gas exchange earthworms are one of the few insects that breathe through their skin the skin of an earthworm is extremely moist and slimy unlike animals living on land fish breathe or get their oxygen from water instead of using lungs fish breathe with the help of organs called gills most fish have four pairs of gills enclosed in a gill chamber on each side of the head on the outside of the body a flap of bone called the gill cover protects the gills of bony fish to get oxygen fish gulp water through the mouth and pump it over the gills in many fish the breathing process begins when the gill covers close and the mouth opens the walls of the mouth then move inwards the mouth partially closes and the gill covers open this action forces the water from the mouth into the gill chamber in case of plants the roots transport the minerals and water to the leaves carbon dioxide is taken in through the tiny pores on the surface of the leaves known as stomata in this process plants release oxygen with the help of which we breathe in order to survive